What is up guys? So happy to be back with another video. Guys, I had a question and I think it was a really fantastic question and I think it's something that if you guys haven't considered it, you should probably consider it. And I'm glad that I'm putting it out now because the sooner the better when it comes to a question like this. That question was guys, God, Joe, I mean, I'm looking for, I'm looking into the tonal. Should I go selling all my weights? Should I get rid of all my stuff? Should I get rid of the bench press and all this, all this and all that? Guys, your answer, my answer might surprise you. Okay, my answer might surprise you. Now, guys, when I first got the tonal, before I got the tonal, I sold every single one of my weights. I sold all my equipment, every single bit of it. I think I had over 800 pounds of weights and equipment and a whole bunch of stuff that I sold and I saw that money come in. I think I made about two grand, something along those lines, about $2,000. And I put that towards getting the tonal. I said, oh, I'm never going to need this stuff again. I'm super happy about that. All right. Now, I had no idea at that time because I didn't have tonal yet that I was going to be making videos regarding tonal. I had no clue, guys. If I did know back then what I know now, I would have kept, I would say, at least a set of dumbbells. At least. Okay. The reason why, in my opinion, is because in my, in my circumstances, there's been times where I've needed to demonstrate something to you guys uh, watching this channel, um, all of you awesome people. I've needed to demonstrate something to you and I didn't have a dumbbell to do it and I needed a dumbbell to compare it to tonal or whatever the case is. I even had to go borrowing a, some dumbbells from a buddy of mine once for a video. Okay. So that, but that's not the only reason. Okay. Cause you might not plan on making tonal videos. Why should you keep your dumbbells? All right. At least a set of dumbbells I would recommend because guys, you don't know if tonal breaks down, how long it's going to take to fix. You don't know if you all of a sudden have a power outage. What are you going to do? Dumbbells are very versatile. You can do a lot with dumbbells. Now, I don't recommend you just get keep a 40-pound dumbbell set or whatever around the house. Personally, guys, I'm probably going to be purchasing in the future the Bowflex dumbbells or any other type of dumbbell that you can click the weight on and off. So basically, like, you know, you have the dumbbell here. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'll link it up in the in the description. Basically, you can lift the dumbbell and you can have five pounds, put it back in, in, in its little holder there. You click it, change it to 10 pounds. 10 pounds comes out, 15, 20, all the way up to whatever weight it goes to. Uh, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Very versatile pieces of, of equipment. I would recommend having those. Why would I recommend those? Because you could, number one, do a ton of movements with dumbbells in case you don't have tonal it's not up and running you know something happens for whatever reason at least you have something at home and number two those particular ones the ones i'm talking about they don't take up a lot of room they don't take up a lot of space you can tuck them away somewhere store them in the garage put them you know in the closet you'll you won't really know that they're there and they're gonna be helpful when you need it you know in case for some reason tonal doesn't work now i have it I haven't uh, been unfortunate enough to experience tonal not working yet, um, but guys, it's a machine. You have to be realistic. Something along, you know, the lines, especially with me, like guy, I don't know about you guys. I use this every single day, hours a day. <laughs> so something is going to happen at some point, whether it's a power outage whether a cable snaps, whether something gets tangled, whether the software glitches, whatever. I hate talking about it because since day one, I've been saying this is the best purchase of my life as long as it does not break. But guys, we have to be realistic. It's a machine. Something is going to break at some point. All right. So let's hope that's not for a really long time. But I do highly recommend, guys, I would say you could sell a lot of your stuff. I would say 99% of your stuff. But I would recommend keeping a set of dumbbells because you can do full body workouts with a set of dumbbells. So at least you'll have those in the circumstance that something unexpected happens. All right, guys? So I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you appreciate it. I hope this answers your question. 
And guys, I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Take care, be safe, and I'll talk to you all soon. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Almost left you guys there. Just wanted to let you know. I have over a million pounds pushed on total. <laughs> Super happy to say it, guys. Over a million pounds I've pushed on total. I've owned this machine for about six months, maybe a little less than six months, I believe. Something along those lines. Over a million pounds pushed. Guys, every pound was worth every pound was worth it. It is this machine is super expensive, as you guys know, but it was worth every single penny. It was worth every single pound pushed. I'm super happy. All right, guys, for real this time. I'll talk to you later.